Hello. I wanted to show you updates to my hardware and software. On the hardware side, I'm no longer using the T-Cobbler. I am instead opting for um, a, uh, uh, a wire running from the board to the Raspberry Pi because I'm actually only using a few pins, uh, power pins and the I squared C uh, pins. And I'm probably also going to be adding another one. But for now, I just created a, a little cable that goes uh, from the Pi. The other thing is, I'm no longer using the OLED display. It's a very cool little display, a little bit hard to see. And instead of using that, I'm now using the Raspberry Pi 7 inch touch display. I have my Raspberry Pi bolted to the back. Uh, facing down so it takes up a little bit less space in the final design the, the the board is actually going to be separated from the display so it uh, has a uh, a thinner profile that way it doesn't uh, take up quite as much uh, uh, vertical space I'm uh, running actually running the display in portrait mode rather than horizontal the uh, display is actually going to be like on the right side of my board. So in order to get the Pi in portrait mode I needed to update uh, a couple of um, a couple of things. One of them was the boot config file. The changes I needed to make were here. Actually, that was the only change to this file. So that actually rotates the display either 0 for regular, 1 for 90 degrees, 2 for two, uh, 180, 3 for 270. So basically you're flipping it from here to here to here to here. So this portrait mode works. Then the other change that needed to be made was when you're touching the display, you'll notice that the mouse position is not matching up with where I'm actually touching the uh, display. So all, it did, all that rotate display did was rotate the display. Um, I also needed to change the um, X config, um, some X config settings. So I needed to create a little script here. So this line and this line needed to be added in order to in order for the touch to actually work properly. Um, however, this is actually work. This works on an older distribution, which I'm actually using right now, and the newer distribution needs this command here. So it's just using a completely different way of rotating it. So right now, using the old one. Also uh, worth noting on the newer distribution, which I downloaded like uh, probably like a couple of days ago, uh, which would be about August uh, the fifteenth or so the newer distribution there was a problem with the pi for j uh, library which i'm using it was using some java libraries that are no longer uh, available or the the package moved or something like that but I have, i'll have to get into that later one more thing to show was in order to have this script file run every time the raspberry pi boots i needed to create another file which is in your which is in your config auto start dot desktop. This file needed to be created. Here we point to where what script to actually run. So let's run that. Okay, and this actually brings up my version of uh, Chessler. 
Once Chessler is launched, we can now take a look at the display. Or sorry, we can now look at the board and let's see if I can get this in focus properly. For now, we're just focusing on the this three by three block here, which matches up to the board. And you'll also notice I don't have all the pieces. I am using my 3D printed chess pieces that I designed and is on Thingiverse. And right now I just stuffed in uh, uh, some masking tape in my magnets to uh, give it a give it a test. So on the board, we have a way of show. I have a way of showing what pieces are actually on the board. Hmm, these read switches are <laughs> really unreliable. This one seems to be sticking open now. Yeah, that's better. So it basically just shows what pieces are where. Um, and then let's actually move the pieces. So watch here. I actually move the pawn uh, the pawn forward and in the software it actually moves the pawn forward move the pawn back it's showing when the piece leaves uh, or sorry it's showing the source and destination of the of the square oops and it does actually handle you sliding the piece.